not to totally get off topic, but um, I think this is important. I don't know how many of our viewers really realize how important beer is to the local economy. Um, I was talking to Amy before, uh, before the interview, and um, I was actually shocked by some of the economic um, information about the Brewfest. And so how um, she has them in front of her, <laughs> I don't have them. But um, yeah, I mean, I think uh, she was actually telling me, this might shock some people, that beer has now surpassed maple syrup. So Amy, I'm gonna let you explain how beer surpassed maple syrup in the Vermont economy. It's true, so we have surpassed maple syrup. So um, this is our economic impact mm -hmm. from 2016. So we are a $376.7 million industry, including, okay. that includes tourism. Um, and so we've actually surpassed maple syrup and the ski industry in terms of on mountain dollars. So. Wait, wait, wow, ski industry too. Yes, with their on mountain money spent. So yeah, it's and it's growing. Wow. Yeah, and so you know, and the job creation we mm -hmm. have, we support 1,890 jobs wow. in the state. Um, yeah, so it's it's a big and deal. And they're good jobs. They tend to be. I mean, from what I know, I have friends in the industry. I mean, it tends to be a very like socially responsible work environment. Um, it tends to be very you know. It tends to be very local first. Yes. Um, you know, we're starting to grow hops in Vermont. Yes, um, yes. And it seems like the industry has sort of these bands of response across the state. Right. Um, and, it's, and it seems like it's just hitting sort of that critical mass. You're right. It's no, exciting. it's true. And I'm glad you brought up the other industries as well, because hops used to be a major industry in the state of Vermont. And it's really, yes. I like, didn't know that. yes. So, uh, like a very long time mm -hmm. ago. And so now it's kind of coming back, and we're seeing some hop farmers. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, there's um, Peterson Malt down in Middlebury. They have a yep. malt house. And so, and he can barely keep up with the demand for um, his Vermont grown malt. So, yeah. Um, yeah, it's pretty great. It's great to see. You know, the so the local effect. vor kind of is is really starting to take off. Exactly. It's not just brewing beer. It's exactly. it's all the components of beer. It's the it's the malts. It's the you know barley's. All those things that we can grow in the state of Vermont that can support that. That yeah. also is part of that job that job engine, which is so wonderful. It's true, and we see a lot of people taking beercations. Those are a real <laughs> thing. Um, people are coming from neighboring states and yeah. even far away to to visit our brewers. I mean, a lot of them have international and national recognition, so yeah. people want to come and taste, taste their beer, and that's kind of one of the benefits of the festival, too, that you have access to all these brewers at once. That makes us yeah. unique. You know, some of our brewers are not going to be at other festivals. And, and so, some of them you can't actually go to the breweries. I mean, yes, they, that's you know, true. Some don't have tap rooms. You're right. So they aren't open to sort of that tourist, you know, component. Yeah, you might be able to go to a local store and buy the beer, exactly. But you'll never get to actually like talk to the brewer or actually be engaged with the brewer, which is why Brewers Fest is so wonderfully unique. 